Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about binary search. It's a common searching algorithm used in computer science, and it's a good choice to use on sorted lists, as I say here. As I said, binary search is an algorithm for locating an index of an item that you are looking for in a sorted array or list. The, the idea is that you first look at the middle index of the array and then compare it to what you're actually looking for. And because the list is sorted, you can there, therefore decide whether or not what you're looking for is in the top half or the bottom half. And you repeat this, uh, continuously dividing the array in half based on whether or not the middle of the array that you're looking at, that th at that moment, is greater than or small smaller than the key. This reduces the search space every time you do it. It's quite simple, actually. Think about it like this. If I am guessing a number between 1 and 100, then I would first guess, well, is it 50? Now you give me a clue. Is it higher or lower? You might say higher. Okay, I would get guess, is it 75? Higher. Is it 87? Lower. Is it 81? Yes, it is. Good job. This is a simple method to uh, consistently reduce the search space each time. If you were to write the algorithm in code, it might look similar to this. This is an iterative version of the code. And in this case, you would have the array. In this case, it's called A. A low index, a high index, and the key that you're using to compare if that's what you're searching for. In this iterative version, we would have a while loop to continuously go through it. And they would keep going uh, as long as the lowest key is less than the high key. If low key is equal to the high key, or if low key is greater than the high key, then obviously we have a problem there. And we can assume that we've searched through as much as we can of the list and that it doesn't exist. In which case we re return that it's not found, or return null. Otherwise, we would return the value if we find it here. So we would uh, continuously change or update what the middle is by saying it is equal to the low minus high minus low divided by 2. That basically gives you the, the, the middle index of what you're looking at right now based on the low and the high. And if that uh, value at that index is equal to what you're looking for, return that index of the array. And that, that'll mean that you found it. Otherwise, uh, if it's less than, you know to uh, increase the min and otherwise increase the max. Actually, in this case, that was an error. Min should be low and max should be high, but you get the idea. So that was the iterative version. You could also do this recursively if you like, and it might look like this. Again, the parameters would be the same of the function. It, you would have an array of a, a low index, a, a high index, and the key that you're looking for. If high is less than low, then return null. Otherwise, if change, uh, what, update what the middle index is of what what you're looking for based on what the low and high index are, and decide whether or not to return something. And in this case, if it's not what you're looking for, you call upon binary search again, updating what the high index or the low index is. As simple as that. If we were to trace this ourselves, we have a simple example here. So suppose I'm looking for 56, the number 56, and I have a list here. I need to find 56, or I have to check to see if it exists in this array. To start, you would say the low index is the smallest one, which is 1. Or if you're doing this as an array in C or Java, you might say it's 0. But it would be the first element of the array. The high index would be the, the highest one, which in this case is 10. And therefore, if low is 1, high is 10, the middle must be 5. So we would look at number five, index 5, which in this case is 37. Is 37 equal to 56? No, it's not. 56 is greater than 37, therefore, because we know this list is sorted, 56 must exist on the second half if it exists at all. Now we're only looking at this part of the array. Low index has been updated to 5. High index is 10. So the middle must be 8. At index 8, we have 61. Is 61 equal to 56? No. Uh, 56 is less than 61. So now we can reduce our searching size again. 
And now again, low index is 6, high index is 7. Middle would be either 6 or 7, but we rounded it to 6. It depends on how you implement it. Is 44 equal to 56? No. Now we're only looking at one spot left. Low index is 6, high is 7. So the middle is 7. Is 56 equal to 56? Yes, it is. So we found it, and we can say now that we can return index 7 to show that that is where that number exists in the array. As mentioned before, this binary algorithm divides the array in half every time until the key is found. This is a pattern most people will recognize as log 2n, or the opposite of uh, 2 to the power of something, because you're dividing it uh, in half every time. So the worst case complexity of this algorithm would be logged to ba with base 2n. The search algorithm is helpful for large sorted lists and arrays, but it is important that the list must be sorted first. If it's not sorted, you have to do that first, in which case this algorithm would take a little bit more time because you have to sort it separately. An array of search will go for the entire list and take longer to find the key, whereas binary search would quickly reduce the search space. What where, where I, I mean by that is iter iterative, I mean if you were to do this by the brute force method, you would just go through every spot in the array one by one until you find it, but binary search can go through this much more quickly. Thank you for watching.